the 2022 draft class for the Minnesota Timberwolves has arrived and we're going to get to know them a little bit. So let's start right here with Wendell Moore Jr. Welcome to Minnesota. Um, what has the whirlwind been like thus far? Man, it's been amazing. Um, I, I honestly don't think I've came back down yet. I mean, that uh, Thursday night was just so um, exciting for me. It was just a lot of mixed emotions. Um, just everything I've dreamed of. Um, so I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to get to work. I think it's so cool that when everyone speaks of you, they speak about your work ethic, and that's something that obviously can take you anywhere. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about how you think you'll be able to utilize that with the Wolves. Uh, really, for me, it's just all about getting better. Um, every single day I step in the gym, I want to feel like I got better or something. Uh, so I feel like if I keep improving as a player, um, I think the sky's the limit for me. Uh, um, I think I really the better I get as a player, the more I can help our team win. What can you tell Timberwolves fans about your style of play, about your game that they might not know? Uh, really, I can really adapt to anything. Uh, so I can play with anybody. Uh, so I'm excited to play with um, Ant, D'Lo, Cat. Um, these two guys are here to the left of us. Uh, so I feel like we, uh, really everything we have built is going to be so exciting. Um, yeah, I, can't break to make, I can't wait to bring some wins to Minnesota. Yeah. Can't wait as well. Let's turn around and talk to these guys. Walker Kessler, welcome. Um, I love the fact that your grandfather played for the Gophers, so let's just start there. You have a Minnesota connection. So, you know, uh, my dad was born in Minneapolis. Um, obviously, his dad played at the University of Minnesota. So it's, it's weird. You know, it's super cool, you know, getting drafted by Minnesota and, you know, embracing that, you know, facet of, of my past. What did you know about Minnesota, um, Coach Finch? Had you watched them at all this season? No question. You know, an unbelievable team. Obviously, you got a lot of Atlanta guys. Uh, obviously, Ants from Atlanta. Uh, and then watching Cat, you know, who's an all-star big, seeing how he plays and how he's kind of the modern-day big, you know, being able to stretch the floor. You know, it's been, been a lot of fun watching them. I'm excited to play with them. Well, and it's cool to talk to someone who's so committed to the defensive end of the court. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things to watch is a great shot block. Um, what what do you think um, makes you a great defensive player, and how do we can you get that to translate at the next level? Well, you know, obviously, I think think height and length, um, but just you know, timing and understanding, you know, how to attack different balls, and you know, because of that, knowing how to like avoid fouls and you know things like that. Have you thought about how Coach Finch runs his defensive schemes and how you'll fit into that? I have, you know, I have. Um, I think that being able to play a switch, a switch situation, and but being able to contest the rim, you know, play defense on a whole team, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Let's move over. If you can pass the mic over to Josh yes, Minot. <laughs> Josh, welcome. Thank you. Um, well, let's start with your Memphis connection, and obviously the Timberwolves played Memphis in uh, the playoffs this year. Did you catch any of that, and what were your thoughts if you did? I did catch a little bit of it, but um, being that I'm from Memphis, you know, I probably knew a little bit more about the, sure. the Grizzlies, but uh, that was actually during the time I was, you know, in a, a pretty long pre-draft process, so didn't catch much, but I mean, it was definitely a really competitive season, I mean, uh, series, you know, one of the, the more competitive ones of the playoffs, you know, like game seven, so... Uh, I'd say it was definitely interesting to watch, uh, you know, just them going back and forth, you know, stars going at each other. And, uh, you know, it was really fun to watch from the, the hotel rooms uh, during exactly. the pre draft process. Tell us a little bit about your game. We know your athletic can get out and transition. What do you think will translate the best in the NBA? Uh, I'd just say the defensive versatility, uh, able to guard, you know, just guards, bigs, just um, being able to switch on the, I mean, basically anybody. You know, I feel, you know, really confident in my ability to just, um, you know, guard the shortest, you know, fastest guards to, you know, just the, the more athletic bigs. And uh, I feel like my athleticism is something that, you know, definitely translate first, you know, before I branch out. Is there any one player on the Timberwolves that you've watched more than others, or did you have a favorite? I mean, I feel like it's, it's got to be Ant, man. I mean, I, feel, I don't know, man. It's just like, you know, Cat's there, but just those explosive plays, you know, just, you know, just crazy dunks. Um, you know, I think he had, like, the body of maybe all time. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's definitely fun watching his game, just the versatility he has on the offensive end. And, uh, I mean, it'll be exciting to, you know, play with the whole team. Well, very important for all three of you. Have you seen Hustle and Ant's acting abilities in that? And if so, let's get your critique. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I feel like it's just because we know Ant uh, and just how funny he is, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, like everybody in the NBA, you know, just knows that, like, Ant's yeah, just like a, a funny dude. So I feel like it was more just like humor than acting, for being honest. Uh, but I, mean, I love the movie, man. It was amazing. And I mean, especially that Juancho just played for them, too, which is yes. crazy. 
Let's get Walker's viewpoint on that. Did you have you watched it up close? I have. Okay. Um, Let's get your I critique. think I think he was great. Um, you know, just being himself, almost. Uh, you know, super confident, and you've seen him trash talk and stuff like that. Um, I mean, he, he did really well. He did better than I thought he was going to do, honestly. I, I was watching him, man, like, he, like, this is like a professional professional guy <laughs> exactly. right here. Um, so, yeah, I, it was super cool. Super Acting cool. something you may be considering down the line. Listen, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. I, I could probably play some, like, Russian henchman or something like that somewhere. So, <laughs> um, you know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Wendell, what were your thoughts on Ant's acting and hustle? Uh, yeah, I'm with everybody else. And uh, he did amazing. Uh, that's just a regular area man that we all know. Uh, again, his humor is it's, it's probably second to none. Uh, yeah, he just had, a, I mean, he had the opportunity to be himself. So I think he did a great job. What's next as you guys take the next steps? You know, we know you've gone through the draft process, which is so exciting, but now it's kind of that get to work phase. Yeah. Kind of take us through what's coming up next. I mean, so big focus for me, uh, probably all of us, is Summer League. Uh, we all want to have a great show in there, uh, win some games there, bond as a team there. Um, I think that's really the start of a great season for us three. Let me ask you that same question as far as what do you feel like you have to do to get prepared for Summer League, Walker? I think, you know, just like Wendell was saying, just, just working, you know, getting in the gym, you know, bonding as a team and understanding, you know, that we're, we're trying to win the summer league. Obviously, it's not as big as, a, you know, an NBA's finals, but understanding that's where it starts. So just having that mentality of working hard and, you know, growing together. Hold on to that microphone. One more quick question for you. My fault. We, we talked a little bit about Carl Anthony Towns, but mm -hmm. I would like to hear more on your thoughts on his game, um, maybe what you've watched from his game that you would like mm -hmm. to have in your game. You know, like I said before, um, his ability to stretch the floor. You know, at this day and age, the modern day big, I mean, you have to be able to do that. And, I mean, he shot some, like, some crazy percentage this past year. Um, so seeing him do that and just seeing how he, he can dominate a game just with his physical presence and how skilled he is. And he's not just a big man, but just a skilled basketball player. So really trying to implement that into my game as well. And, Josh, let's ask you that same question as far as who is the player maybe that you're looking at that you'd like to emulate your game after who might be able to kind of help you in practices. And um, has there been someone in the past who you've watched as well? Um, I'd say currently on the team, as far as, you know, people that I can just emulate my game after, uh, it's a little confusing question. I feel like um, just considering my size and uh, just play style, I feel like it has to be like a, a multitude of players almost, you know, to just really uh, – my game. I feel like I'm going to, you know, be going at it with everyone on the team, you know, just, um, rich, you know, iron sharpens iron. And I really just help. So I really feel like, you know, just playing against that multitude of players really just help my game. Like so. Well, gentlemen, we want to welcome you all to Minnesota, congratulate you, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be a character. Thank you.